Hi, welcome to Coco Pelly Farms. Today we are going to show how to humanely dispatch a duck. Uh, we have too many drakes, so we have to uh, get rid of a few of them. We use the ducks here for uh, purposes for food for our family and also for our animals. This drake is going to be dog food, so I am not going to completely dress him out, but I wanted to show how to humanely cull a duck. So if you don't want to see a duck being dispatched, you need to turn off the video now. Um, because if you keep watching, you're gonna see this guy die. If it makes you feel any better, he's a biter, so he's not sweet. Uh, the way I do it is I do cervical dislocation. There are several methods. Uh, there's the broomstick method. You can take a broomstick, a rake handle, whatever, put it right at the base of the skull. Um, you stand on it and you pull up on the back legs. Uh, what we're using today is called the hopper popper. Ours is actually hung upside down, but it works either way. This is um, originally made for uh, culling rabbits, which we also use, um, but it works really great for the ducks. Up here we have the hopper hanger. I have never used it for the ducks, but um, after I have them done, I am just gonna see if he'll hang on there. It might make it easier for plucking out feathers if I were to be dressing him out for our use. Um, after I do this, you're going to see him flop around. That's normal, that's just the nerve endings firing. Uh, he will be completely gone at that point, he won't feel anything. But one of the ways that I'm going to check to make sure that he's gone is I will feel his neck. All right, now I can feel his vertebrae and spine perfectly in place. When I check him at the end, I won't be able to feel, there'll be a separation there. Um, also, you can tap them on the eye. If you do that, well, they're alive, they'll try to move their head, move their eye, blink. When they are dead, they won't do that. So what we're gonna do is have him face the wall, put his head in here, his body will be facing me, and I will be pulling backwards and up a little bit and that will just separate the head from the neck and completely sever the spinal cord, and it's not a painless death for them. So here we go. Duck is facing the wall. Bring him all the way in to the back of the V. Grab him by the legs, pull up and out, and sometimes that happens as well. I try not to decapitate them, but sometimes it does happen. So in this case, we at least know that he is dead. So I'm just gonna let some of the blood drain out because he is flopping around a little bit. Those are the nerves that I was talking about. I may not be trying him on the hanger just because he is bleeding and I don't wanna get blood more all over than I already did. That's why there's already blood on the walls from when I accidentally pull too hard and decapitate something. All right. I don't know if this will work for the duck or not, so we're just gonna, more for informational purposes than for anything else. Actually, I think that would work. So if I were to be dressing him out, I'd dip him in some hot water first. Uh, makes the feathers easier to pull. And then I could hang him up here to pull the feathers and uh, gut him out and all the other stuff. So that's good to know. Uh, we've never tried it before. So now we know and we can use it in the future. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.